again. Thanks for watching. My name is Joseph Catrona. This is another quick tips video from Go Engineer. Today's topic is mapping values, and by values I mean the properties, from folders to files in Enterprise PDM. So it's nice to be able to put files in a folder. Well, let's say this folder has properties or attributes assigned to it, like project name and project number. It'd be nice that if I put files in there, they would inherit the value for project name and project number. Eliminates me from having to type it in again and also eliminates potential for user error. So let's take a look at this functionality. Now if I don't have this set up correctly, so we'll talk about what happens before mapping. Let me move some files into this folder. So I'll copy them from outside the vault. And just to verify here, my folder has attributes for project name and project number. So its name is this, its number is that. So when I place files in there, not having this set up correctly, I can see that the parts did not inherit those values for project name and project number. So in this case, I would have to go and type it in um, or push it down later, which we'll take a look at in a moment. So that's, that's before mapping. Now let's take a look at after mapping. So what I wanna do really is if I go into the administration tool, the EPM administration tool, I can make changes to the data cards. So here I have the folder card that we've been looking at. And I can also take a look at the part card that we've been looking at. So what I want to do here for this part card, and this works for any kind of file, drawing, part, assembly, Microsoft, doesn't matter. We can link the folder attributes to the file attributes in the way I'm a describing. So one thing I want to do here is change project name the default for that to be the folder data card value of project name. So putting this in a little bit more simplistic terms that I can understand is I want the project name here to pull from the folder project name. Same thing. I want the project number on the part to pull from project number on the folder. I'll make sure and save that minimize in case we need to come back here and try this again with these files 2a through 2c so I'll do a quick copy and after I have the mapping set up we can see that the attributes are linked so any new file that's getting a default value and again this works for default values going back to the data card here I want to be explicit and point out that this is a default value so what happens if I move those files? Will they inherit the, the properties of the new folder? Not necessarily. So let's take a look at that. Let's say that we start off with a project name of, jump to the edit page, and say that the project name is changed, and the project number starts off as 333. I'll save that, navigate in, and go ahead with a copy of some files and paste those files in there. So we can quickly see that these files have inherited that default value from the folder that they're in. Changed 333 and the files also inherited those same values. Let's say the project number changes to XXX. So I'll save that and go and look at the files. Did they inherit? Absolutely not. But there is a tool to push the new values down to the files. So let's take a look at that tool. Now making sure that these files are checked out, I can go to the folder and under Modify, Update, Values in Files. So again, I have a folder selected here, and this is going to pull up a nice little wizard to update the file data cards. Enter one or more words that must be part of the file name. So it's basically a wizard with several steps that's asking me um, what I want to update, essentially. So I want to go ahead and do it for all files. So I'll leave this blank. And I do want to push it down to subfolders if there are any. I'll hit Next. This screen allows me to specify only certain workflows. So maybe there's multiple files down in there and I don't want to do this to approved files or I don't want to do this to the obsolete files. In my case, I'm just going to leave them all checked. It gives me a picture here of what files would be affected by this. 
These match the criteria and will be updated unless you uncheck them. So very self-explanatory. The next screen says here are all the va values on those files that you could possibly update. So there's the project number. That's all I need to update. The rest haven't changed or I don't care about them, whatever the case may be. So I'll choose next. This screen allows me to specify what configurations should be affected. So drill, really drilling down in the detail, this wizard allows you to do all of the different um, steps and, and really specify what you want to do. Step six just is a finish button. I'll go ahead and say OK. Finished updating files. Now I'll go and look and we can see that the values in the files have changed. Of course that change needs to be checked in but that's for a later video. Finally, I want to take one look at what happens if we move files. So let's say I have this project here, project number four, and its project name is moved, and its project number is 444. So perhaps we're taking these files. They do have values. When we put them in the vault, the mapping was correct, and so they inherited the project name and project number from project two. So the name of this project is after mapping, the number is 2, so the files inside have those same values, after mapping and 2. So what happens if we move those files, we cut, so this is an appropriate move, go into files move. First, let me take a look at the values on this project. So the project name here is moved, and the project number is 444. So if I move some files into that folder, do they inherit those values? Absolutely not. Let me specify again that that's a default, and the default only happens when a file is new to the vault, or in other words, added to the vault. So these have already had their default value. It doesn't change. It's not dynamically linked. It's just a default value link. But again, we can rely on that update values feature that we just took a look at. So when these files have been moved, I want those to inherit the values of their new folder. So I'll go to Modify, Update, Values and Files, walk through this wizard a little quicker this time, Next, 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 Configurations, Yes, and finally Finish. So what we see is that now the values in these files have been updated, again as the command suggests. Update, values in file. So there's a couple of scenarios. Hopefully that's been helpful. Feel free to leave us a comment if you've got some creative usages of this and also feel free to leave us a comment if there's any videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for watching.